Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. No, it's not a reaction video. Hey, hello, and welcome to a new video. My name is Herr Buda, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. Every time a client comes in my salon, I try to give them not only the right color or a good haircut, but I'm training my staff also to give every client a tip, a hair tip what uh, hair color is best for you or haircut is best for you, but also can be a tip how to apply a product very well or how to do their style, their haircut nicely at home. I strongly believe for a successful salon that you always have to try to give a good tip to the client so they not just get a good haircut, but also they go outside and they say, oh, I learned a new thing today. So I collected 25 very good tips so I can share them with you. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. So I put a mannequin beside me because some tips are more clearly if I can show it to a mannequin and I cannot show it on my hair. So it's more obvious that I use a mannequin. A model is also possible, but it's lockdown here in Belgium. It's uh, the second lockdown. So I cannot ask a model to sit beside me uh, because we all have to stay at home. So my first tip is leave the straightening iron or the curling iron away from one day. Uh, you don't have to straighten your hair every day or curl it every day. It can damage your hair, especially if you have thin hair or fine hair or hair that is already damaged from coloring. It can equally damage your hair as bleaching your hair. So think again, if you are waking up in the morning and say, I have to straighten my hair. Is it really necessary to do that? So if you are using a flat iron or a curling iron, make sure that you are using a heat protection product. So for my second tip, I will get a blow dryer because every time you are drying or brushing your hair at home, I see many mistakes that are made uh, with my clients uh, that they are brushing their hair not in the same direction of your hair. You have to turn up the blow dryer and dry it in the same direction as your hair because the cuticle will be closed and there will be more shine. If you are using it in that direction or straight to the scalp, besides of burning your scalp, but if you use it straight, then the cuticle will not be closed and you will have frizzy hair. It will not have the nice shine as you come from the hairdresser. So you have to put up the blow dryer and dry it in the same direction of your hair, from the roots to the tips. Of course, it's difficult if you do it by yourself. You have to lift up your arm very high to get this straightening or curling technique, but the result will be more nicely. And my extra tip in the second tip is start in the front. Brush your hair in the front, don't start at the back. If you are having the full front dried and your arms is, is hurting and you don't feel like it or you don't have the time anymore, then you leave the back quickly. But your hair around your face is done. So you have a nice look. So your appearance is very good. So if you start in the back and you don't like doing in the front anymore, so this will not be nice. So what is the most important thing? The hair around your face. So start in the front and then the back. This is an extra tip in tip two. So tip two are double tips. Uh, if you are putting your hair in a bun or in a ponytail or just like this, it can happen that you have frizzy little hairs sticking up, especially here in the sideline or in the front. If you have it in a bun, the little hairs can stick up in the front. So first of all, if you put your hair in a bun, you can spray the hairspray directly on your brush and then comb it and put it in a bun, then you have less frizzy hairs sticking up. And if you are doing it directly on your hair, it can be too close. You have to always use 30 centimeters, I don't know in inches, but you have to use 
30 centimeters away from the hair to spray it, otherwise you have wet spots. But still, you can have frizzy hair. Then you can take an old toothbrush. You can take a new toothbrush also, but I will not brush my teeth with the one that I sprayed on. Uh, but you can spray the hairspray onto the toothbrush and then you can slightly comb over the, the side or the front to get rid of this little frizzy upspringing hairs. So this is really a nice technique uh, to get rid of these frizzy hairs. You can comb it through and all these little hairs are coming, are laying down and all the stress is gone. So for my fourth tip is for people with greasy hair. You wake up and you have, your hair is greasy, but you don't have the time uh, to wash your hair. So what you can do is use dry shampoo or a volume uh, powder to put it on the scalp and it uh, will absorb the greasiness of your hair and you will have a fresh look and you can go away for one day. The next day it's better to wash if, if you use a dry shampoo or a volume powder too many days in a row, then it can uh, block your pores uh, and you can have skin problem. Be careful, don't do it day after day after day after day. But dry shampoo and a volume powder is really good for that one day or two days extra. I don't want to wash or you don't have the time to wash it. If you have a bad hair day completely and you want to wear it in a bun or in a ponytail, if it's greasy, wear your hair in a lower ponytail because it looks less greasy in a lower ponytail than in a high ponytail. So we are still at the greasy hair for my fifth tip. If you are having fine hair or greasy hair, most of the times people are saying, I don't need treatments because my hair will be more greasy. No, no, no. If you have fine hair or greasy hair or any hair, everybody needs treatment. But if you have fine hair or greasy hair, you can do a pre-treatment. So that means you treat your hair before washing. So when the hair is dry and you want to wash your hair in a few hours or something, then you can apply the conditioner or the mask or the deep treatment on the lengths and tips. Don't apply the conditioner or the treatment on the scalp because greasy hair and fine hair cannot use treatment on the scalp. It will be flat, it will be heavy weight. It's mainly the, the mid lengths and the tips that are needing this treatment. Apply it very well. Don't go into the shower and apply a conditioner like this. So all the conditioner is put it here in the front. What you will have is flat hair and greasy hair, especially around the face. So, and none of the treatments or masks are going on the lengths and tips. Always, always apply the treatment and the mask on the mid lengths and the tips. A pre-treatment, so, is applied before washing. So, you will wash your hair in a few hours. So, you apply it on the mid lengths and tips. She needs also a good treatment, it's very bad. But you apply it on the mid lengths and tips and then you wash it out. So it will be also less greasy and your hair will not fall flat. So for my sixth tip, if you have long hair and you wanna grow your hair even longer or you don't wanna go to the hairdresser so often and your lengths, your tips is always splitting very fast, you always have to treat your tips with serum. Just to protect, it will split less so you don't have to go so often to the hairdresser. So if you don't go as much to the hairdresser, you save money and your hair will get longer. You always have to treat your lengths and tips with serum. But if you have fine hair, you have to search for a serum that is less heavy than you have thick hair. There are different kinds of serum and uh, more heavily than less heavily, you have to ask to your hairdresser uh, which one is less heavy for your hair, but every long hair has to be treated on the length with serum. If you want to have less tangled hair or hair that feels less dry after sleeping, you can have that. It's like 
beginning in a war at night. Uh, it's really tangled. But if you are sleeping on a silk or a satin pillowcase, it will be less uh, tangled and feels less dry. Silk or satin, it's both good, but it depends how much money you want to spend on the pillowcase. But if you're going to invest in a good pillowcase, your hair will be less tangled and feels less dry in the morning. So for my eighth tip, if you have fine hair and you see your skin through your hair, then it's most likely that everybody is seeing that you have fine hair. If you want to avoid that, and sometimes if you're coloring your hair, your scalp is colored, and then it seems that you have thicker, fuller hair. So if your scalp is washed, then the, the scalp is cleaned up, and the remaining stains of the coloring is faded out, and then you will have that fine look again. If you want to have a visual effect, of thicker hair, then you can buy eyeshadow in the same color of your hair and then you can apply it on the scalp or in the front, your hair will be looking more thicker and fuller. Of course, if you are having pink uh, hair dye, then don't put pink uh, eyeshadow on the, on the scalp, then you can apply a more darker so you have more shadow roots. Uh, but if the skin is colored, then your hair will look less thinner. So we are at number nine. If you wash your hair, it's better to wash it twice. Because if you wash your hair twice, then the first wash is cleaning everything up. So rema remains of, of product, grease, sebum. Uh, it takes everything out of your hair. And the second one is really protecting and treating your hair. You will have more volume if you wash your hair twice. So if you have to wash your hair every day, but you wash your hair every day once, try to wash your hair twice, and maybe you can wait a longer period of time. Maybe wash it or shampoo it every two days. There are many tips for fine hair. So people with fine hair are always having stress of having more volume and that people don't see they have thin hair. So if you want to have more volume on the top, you can flip sides. So wear it on the other side. So maybe you will have more volume. And if you want to dry your hair, always dry your hair in the opposite direction. For 90% of the people, it grows diagonally to the front or maybe downwards. Or many people going completely to the front. If you are looking at it and you see where it grows, then you can dry it in the opposite direction. If you are drying the roots in the opposite direction, first the roots like this much, like five centimeters, you dry it, take a new section, dry it, take a new section, dry it, then you will have more volume on the roots. So if your side are on the right side, on the left side, dry it on the opposite side, flip it, and then you will have more volume without having to spend one hour brushing uh, with a round brush. First of all, with a normal brush, you dry the roots in the opposite direction. Just first check it or somebody else have to check it for you. And first you have to see which way it grows. It grows diagonally, it grows to the front, it grows down. You have to push it on the opposite side and then you will have more volume, it stays longer. If it's not staying as long as you want, then you can dry it in the opposite direction and spray some hairspray uh, on the roots and then it will stay longer. Okay, for my next tip, number 11, it's a tip mainly for people with curly hair, but if you have very dry damaged hair, it can also help. But if you're going out of the shower, Many people are drying their hair with a towel very aggressively. They rub it in and again, your hair is very delicate if it's wet. So you have to treat it gently. You have to treat it like it's your best friend. And let's say your hair is really your best friend, no? If you are coming out of the shower, try to use an old t-shirt. Rub it in a t-shirt and maybe you can take a breakfast or do your makeup before. 
and let all the water soak into the t-shirt without aggressively drying your hair. So your curls will be more nicely, it will be less frizzy and your damaged hair will be very happy that you don't aggressively dry out your hair again with the towel. So be gentle, try an old t-shirt. For my next tip, we are in the shower and we are applying a treatment. Many times I hear people are lack of time and they apply the treatment on wet hair. It's not possible to have a treatment on wet hair because your hair is too wet and the conditioner or the treatment cannot enter your hair. It cannot penetrate your hair. So you have to dry it. You have to dry it with a towel gently. Remember the previous tip. So gently you have to dry it. And if it's the more dry your hair is, the more deep the treatment can go inside your hair. That's why I also explained pre-treatment is very good for your hair. But if the conditioner is on your hair, many times I see people already pulling very hard on their hair or with a brush, wait a few minutes so the treatment can do his work. It can soften your hair, it can untangle your hair and then you can go with a comb through it, white tooth comb or a brush. There is one brush uh, that I use, so that's very good for wet hair. My favorite brush, many times I get a comment, so what is your favorite product? What is your favorite brush? It's always difficult to name a few brushes because I don't use every brush and I don't use every product. I haven't tested every product. One of the brushes that I use my entire um, hairdressing career and I started at the age of 12. There was one school in Belgium that you can start at the age of 12 so I started. Many hairdressers saying you have to buy this kind of uh, brush and this is the one. It's Mason Pearson. It's an English brand and the box is the, still the same as in the I, th I think in the 60s or in the 70s. Mason Pearson is a brush you can use on wet hair. Not every brush can be used on wet hair, you will break your hair. So don't use any brush to use on wet hair. I have also a Belgium brand, it's Curve O, and I've been on stage and I've been on photo shoots with uh, this hairdresser and he created also a brush, Curve O. So this is also a nice one. So it's a different shape. Mason Pearson is one of my favorite and Curve O is also one of my favorite to use on wet hair. They have a brush for dry hair, they have a brush for dry and wet hair, I have a brush only for wet hair. Remember my tip in the beginning, use a wide tooth comb or one of these brushes to comb your hair after a few minutes so you don't have to pull so hard on your hair and it will not damage your hair. We are at number 13, I don't like number 13, but okay. Uh, you can use cold water at the end of your shampoo to add more shine to your hair. There are many people that say it does not work and there are many people say it's working. I don't really like cold water, I don't. But if I end in the shower and I'm very tired or something and I use at the end, slowly turning my hot water to cold, then I'll, I'm more awake, I'm more vivid. So, and I believe it will do more on my skin. So it will be good for me. More shine or less shine, it will maybe be good to just wake up in the morning. So we are at the end of this first video. I will not give my 25 amazing tips in one video because the video will take too long. Uh, so this was the part one. Next week you will have part two. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel so you know you will see part two. If you see this in a few months, part two is already on my channel, so you can skip it on to part two. Have you learned from this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. And all I'm going to say today is, ciao kiss.